In this video, I'm going to show you how to reconcile your BrightPearl account with a statement from your bank. Your bank will send you statements to show all the transactions on an account. By reconciling every transaction on this statement with BrightPearl, you can pick up mistakes sooner rather than later. This reconciliation video involves checking against a statement that's got start date and end date, and a start balance and an ending balance. If you can download transactions from your bank into a CSV file, you might prefer to use the bank matching process, which I explain in another video. First of all, make sure the relevant bank account is set as one that you want to be reconciled. If you don't see it in the accounting menu under Reconcile, then click to edit the bank account from the bank account screen. From the Accounting Reconcile menu, choose your bank account, and here's where you can see a list of statements. You're going to create a new statement that has the same start and end dates as the paper statement, and also the same start balance and end balance. Both dates are inclusive and statements can't overlap with each other. Once you've created the statement, you'll see how many transactions there are that are not yet saved on it. Click to open the statement, and here are all the transactions between those two dates for the account that you've chosen. Work down the list, ticking the transactions here at the same time as you tick them on the paper statement. If you find something on the paper statement that's not in BrightPearl, you'll need to add it into BrightPearl. Save your statement first. I find it easiest to leave the statement open in one tab, and open another tab to search and create new entries. Before you go and create a new entry for the missing transaction, search for it first to make sure it's not been put somewhere else. Putting the transaction amount into the accounting quick search is the best way to find a transaction. Once you've added the transaction, reload the saved statement, and you'll see it ready to tick. As soon as you save a transaction onto a statement, you can no longer make changes to it. And here we can see on the Edit Journal screen that we can't change the entry on the bank account. Once you've confirmed all the transactions on your paper statement, you should have a remaining balance of zero on the Bright Pearl statement, which lets you close it. Closing a statement simply marks it is completed. Any unreconciled entries during that period, which you can see in red, are probably mistakes and need to be amended. Sometimes you might record something in BrightPearl at the very end of one period, but it doesn't actually appear on your bank statement until the start of the next period. When you view an open statement in BrightPearl, you'll actually see unreconciled transactions up to 30 days before the start date of this statement. You can choose to reconcile these transactions on this statement, even if they don't fall within the date range, or you could just amend the dates. If you want to see even earlier unreconciled transactions on this statement, tick this box. This reconciliation process only shows up to 500 rows per statement, so if you're particularly busy, split your statements up into smaller ones by choosing shorter date periods. If for whatever reason you want to reopen a reconcile statement, you can do that from the statements list. Once you've reopened a statement, you'll need to reconcile all the transactions again before you can close it. In this video, we saw how to create a statement, how to reconcile transactions on the statement, we saw that reconciled transactions cannot be changed on the corrections screen, and we saw how to reopen a closed statement. That takes us to the end of the video, where we see how to reconcile bank accounts using a bank statement. Don't forget to check out the other reconciliation video on transaction-based matching using an imported CSV, and choose which one works best for you.